Hi guys, um, so I'm doing a quick video and I, it's something I ordered a little while ago from a friend of mine who runs a company called Woodworks. Now, I used to work with Trevor, he was actually an IT guy before he decided to do something very silly and retire and spend his days working with dead tree carcasses. So, he's actually quite good at this and one of the things I noticed on his Facebook page recently was that he was attempting to do some fountain pens. I've had quite the collection of fountain pens over the years and I've still got most of them and I thought what better way than to have something made by Trevor who's a really good friend we work very closely together even though we run separate businesses he was always there for me and likewise I was always there for him when he needed me so we've got a good friendship so I've placed an order for a couple of pens and um, I just want to see I just want to show you how they've come out because quite frankly they're amazing <coughs> so the pens come packaged in a nice velvet case it feels really really nice and luxurious Let's just open that up so there's Trevor's card I'll just hold that up so you can hopefully see his details if you want to pause the video you can good read of that now Trevor actually turns these on his own lathe and the finish he gets is just fantastic. Um, so the thing I like, got this really lovely gold plated uh, nib and everything feels really nice, fits really well. I've got the bladder installed in here. So that's a refillable bladder. I haven't actually put any ink through these yet, which we'll do in a bit. But one of the touches that I really like on this particular pen, this is the base model, is that the lid screws into the back. So you're not going to lose that. It's not going to come apart. All the metal work is really nicely finished as well. So everything is, is just really nicely done. It's uh, um, I think he charges about... 30 pounds somewhere in that range for this this particular one it might even be a lot less than that I'm, I'm not I'm still waiting on the final figures coming across from him but for a handmade pen there's never ever going to be two pens the same because the wood grain will always be different and this is genuine wood actually turned on Trevor's own lathe with his own hands um, so yeah he's done a good job with that just pop that one there this is the slightly more uh, luxurious version so it's got some some gold uh, features at either end which uh, make it look really really nice and around the middle here it's got this gold band as well again if I hold these two together you can see that the wood grain is completely different um, even though they were turned from uh, either the same piece of wood or a very similar piece of wood but again it unscrews We've got a lovely gold plated uh, nib Now you'll notice that this one is all metal construction. This was a slightly more expensive kit that Trevor made for me at my request. Um, but yeah, just a really, really nice finish. Can't fault them at all. Um, the, the, the way he's turned the wood, everything, it just feels so nice in the hand. There's a good weight to it. Um, I'm not sure what the weight actually is, but it's a good weight to it. And all the finishings and the plating are just second to none. Really, really good work, Trevor. Um, so, yeah, very, very impressed. So, if you're on the web, go to www.woodworks, wood wrxworks.com and uh, check him out. Hit him up, he'll make you some pens. So, with all my fountain pens, I tend to use a good quality ink, and my preferred one that I've been using for about 10 years now is Waterman, um, and I always, always use the violet. Just, just personal preference. So we are going to go ahead and make a mess all over the bench and fill up this pen. Now, I would sometimes fill directly through the pen itself. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do that. As good a way as any. And that way, 
although it does mess the nib slightly it does mean that the pen is ready to work straight away let's just to pop that top on and that one while well, I just move this ink out of the way because I will get into a real pickle so what we need is a piece of paper through the magic of TV okay and yes that's just something that was on the printer so let's start writing with this please excuse my handwriting this is a test this is a really nice pen this would actually be really good for for doing a signature with i like this very very nice to write with normally there's a lot of catches on fountain pens when you first start but actually this one feels fairly good i really like that very nice good job trevor and that's one working fountain pen